Alrighty, we got ourselves a brand new set of Team Go Rocket leaders with new Pokemon, and I'm going to be giving you a quick guide on how you can defeat Cliff out of all of the three Team Go Rocket leaders. Cliff actually opens up with Shadow Aerodactyl, which is probably the most difficult opener out of the three, but if you know what you're doing and you bring the right counters, defeating Cliff is actually really easy. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Let's get right into it. And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count, here with a brand new Pokemon Go guide video. Today I'm going to be talking about Cliff. He is the new big baddie when it comes to the Team Go Rocket leaders. Of course in the past, Cliff has always been kind of the easy one out of the three, but this time around he's actually the most difficult. Now the reason why I wanted to make this video is because when I started going into the Team Go Rocket leader battles after the new shakeup, I actually had a lot of difficulty going up against Cliff. Even if if you bring the right counter against Aerodactyl, it still dishes out so much damage that regardless of what counter I brought, it was still getting knocked out really easily. It took me a while to fine tune my strategy, but eventually I got to a point where you could defeat Cliff pretty much easily. First and foremost, I open up with Kyogre. Now the reason why I open up with Kyogre is because it does resist a lot of Aerodactyl's moves, and the other reason why is because you could get Surf off as much as you can. Now in the ideal scenario, you will want to burn through both of Cliff's shields early on so that when you move on to the second and third Pokemon, it's going to be a cakewalk because all you have to do is just bring a direct counter to either of them and they will not shield any of your charge moves. So starting off with Kyogre with Surf and Waterfall is pretty key for me, mainly because even if I don't get Aerodactyl down in time, I could still at least burn through two of his shields. So one thing I've been doing is opening up with with Kyogre just spamming Waterfall as much as I can until right before Kyogre dies. And then of course there's that one or two quick move buffer that happens after every single charge move. I use that to try to get off a second Surf or a quick switch over to another Pokemon to get another charge move off. It's very important that you get both shields off of Cliff so that you could just burn through the second and third Pokemon. And that's really the difficult part with Aerodactyl. The fact that it could dish out so much damage that it could melt through your Pokemon without doing a charge move makes it absolutely difficult for you to burn through both shields early on. But I've had the least difficulty doing that with Kyogre with Surf, so that is the opener that you should go with. Now let's say you do not have a good Kyogre, or you're still struggling against Cliff even with Kyogre. Well, you could opt to use Empoleon with Waterfall and Hydro Cannon. It's a very good alternative against Aerodactyl simply because it will resist a lot of Aerodactyl's moves and it will dish out the two charge attacks that you need in order to burn through those shields. And again, that should be your main goal against Aerodactyl. You should try to push for both shields getting burned or at least one of the shields so that you could actually get all the damage you need onto the second and third Pokemon. Once you get both shields, down then it's a matter of bringing the right counters to the second and third Pokemon. Of course Cliff could bring either Gallade, Cradilly, or Slowking. Now two out of the three of the second Pokemon is weak against dark types so I tend to go with Pokemon like Tyranitar. It's extremely beefy and if you have Bite and Crunch it's going to dish out enough damage to just melt through that second Pokemon and it's also going to be really useful against the third Pokemon depending on what it ends up being. If you're lucky enough to get the combination of let's say Gallade and Dusk Noir, then you could just use one dark type and just completely melt through both Pokemon. And then of course if you're using a Pokemon like Tyranitar with Bite and Crunch, it's going to be beefy enough to survive a lot of those quick moves. Now if you end up going up against Cradilly as the second Pokemon, that's going to be a little bit tricky considering that the grass and rock typing that Cradilly has means it's going to have very few counters, but you could opt to use Pokemon like Giratina it's actually going to be very tanky and survive a lot of Cradilly's attacks and it's going to build up a lot of that energy that you could use for the third Pokemon. I've also used Pokemon like Mamoswine that's been really
really helpful considering that it is weak against ice types. But in general, you just want to survive all the way to the third Pokemon. And then the third Pokemon really should be a Pokemon that is going to be a backup. I highly suggest you bring a fighting type Pokemon like Conkledor or Machamp only because there is a possibility that it could have either Mamoswine or Tyranitar as his third Pokemon. And both of these Pokemon get completely decimated by any fighting type. But if it ends up being Dusk Noir, then I highly suggest you bring another Dark type. Maybe even a Darkrai would be really good, although Darkrai is a bit of a glass cannon, so he could die pretty quickly. But yeah, that is how you could round out your team. Start off with Kyogre, have your second Pokemon be a Pokemon like Tyranitar, and then round out your third Pokemon as a fighting type. Now for every single one of the Pokemon that I listed in this video, make sure they are at least level 35 that's going to ensure that you deal enough damage but also survive enough of Cliff's attacks. But yeah there you have it everyone this is my quick guide on how you could defeat Cliff. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you defeated this Team Go Rocket leader? What Pokemon were you using going up against this boss? Let me know down below and yeah I really hope you enjoyed it and found this video to be helpful. If you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. I am Count Jinsula. Be safe. Have fun. And I'll catch you all later.